before you get Where does all the white oak come from? trolley tour of the city uh, with a motorman and a conductor and a guide who would lecture you in both French and English. We're not going to lecture you in French today, we're going to stick to English. Uh, in 1959, streetcar service ended in Montreal, if you were able to get this car. One of the other cars went to the trolley museum up in Maine, and uh, the other two go to Montreal somewhere, some kind of museum up on cement line. Uh, but this is kind of a fun car. People enjoy riding it. It's a little different than most of the cars we have. We hope you enjoy it, and we hope that you will uh, stick around today. You can ride as much as you want until we close. I remember about the streetcars in Detroit was the sparks dropping off the back when they went through cross sections you know, where they had changes of yeah. lines and there was a gap and then huh. had to be going fast enough because if they hit the middle they stopped. Oh, that's funny. Air brakes? Yes. Where is the air compressor? Underneath the car. This is a gauge showing you what the air we have in the tank. Check your brakes. Now you know you got brakes. Two bells. Now remember, you're running the car, you're in charge. He's just going to do what you tell him to do. How does he signal him with a bell? 
Yeah. Yeah, this car, one bell power off, two bells power on. So the guy on the other end now, all he's doing is his arm. He's just running the controller and giving us the power. He's actually in charge of the car. Scary thought, isn't it? <laughs> right there. You know where Batavia is? Uh -huh. I lived in I was publisher of the Batavia Daily News, and then I went up to our parent company in Watertown as a corporate general manager up there. Uh -huh. Where upstate do you live? Angelica, New York. Oh, I know where Angelica is. Oh, yeah? Well, I, by part of my career, my early days, I was the circulation manager of the Evening Tribune in Hornell. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, and I, in fact, the guy that worked for me, Walt Britton, he lived in Angelica. No kidding. A long time ago. <laughs> Now, did somebody switch the tracks, or is it... Yeah, no, this is a spring switch. Uh, I'll show you how that works when you get up here. You see where the tracks join together? If you look on the left, the tracks are not aligned. they got a space between them. But there's a spring across the track there. And when the car passes over the spring, the weight of the car will push those tracks together. And then you'll hear them snap back out again. See the spring down there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hear it snap out again. Okay, uh, you got permission to proceed on the red? Uh, permission to proceed on the red. There's only a knock off the switcher. Give me two dollars, three dollars. That's good.